Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the least common multiple of three numbers using prime factorization. Now, I like using this strategy and find it helpful when working with numbers that are a little larger in value and not as simple to work with. For example, the strategy of listing out multiples of numbers in order to find the LCM can be kind of difficult and time-consuming when working with larger numbers in value. So this is a different approach, a different strategy to be familiar with when it comes to finding the least common multiple. Let's jump into our example where we have 21, 28, and 32. So we need to find the least common multiple of those three numbers. Let's start with the prime factorization of all three of our numbers, starting with 21. 3 times 7 equals 21, so 3 and 7 are factors of 21. Now 3 is prime, so we are done there. 7 is prime as well, so we are done there. And that's the prime factorization of 21. We can't break that down any further. Let's move on to 28. 2 times 14 equals 28, so 2 and 14 are factors of 28. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 14 we can break down. 2 times 7 equals 14, so 2 and 7 are factors of 14. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 7 is prime as well, so we are done there. And that's the prime factorization of 28. We can't break that down any further. Lastly, we have the prime factorization of 32. 2 times 16 equals 32, so 2 and 16 are factors of 32. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 16 we can break down. 2 times 8 equals 16, so 2 and 8 are factors of 16. 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break 8 down further. 2 times 4 equals 8, so 2 and 4 are factors of 8. 2 is prime, so we are done there. We can break 4 down further. 2 times 2 equals 4, so 2 is a factor of 4. 2 is prime, so we are done there and there. And that's the prime factorization of 32. We can't break that down any further. Now that we have the prime factorization of all three of our numbers, we need to list the prime factors and match them vertically. Let's start with the prime factors of 21. So 3 and 7. 3 times 7 equals 21. Now for the prime factors of 28. And I'm going to start with the prime factor of 7. Since 21 also has a prime factor of 7, I'm matching the 7s vertically. Then we have 2 and 2. So 7 times 2 times 2 equals 28. And then lastly, we have the prime factors of 32. We have a 2 that we can match vertically, another 2 that we can match vertically, and then three more 2s. Now that we have our prime factors listed and matched vertically, we need to bring down a number to represent each column, and it's going to be 1 for each column. You'll see what this means as we go through this step. So I like to draw a line to separate our steps here. And now, again, we need to go through each column and bring down a number to represent that column. For example, we have a three column right here. Even though there's one three, that's okay. We have a three column there. So let's bring down a three to represent that column. Times, we have a seven column here. Now there are two sevens there, but we only bring down one seven to represent that column. Times, 
Next, we have a column of twos. So bring down a two to represent that column. And then another column of twos. So bring down another two to represent that column times. We have one two here, but it is a column. So bring down a two times another two here times another two here. So we end up with three times seven times two times two times two times two times two. And by multiplying those numbers, we get the least common multiple. Now there are different ways to go about multiplying these numbers. For example, you can start with three times seven and work your way from left to right. I'm going to start with this group of five twos right here. So we have two times two times two times two times two, two to the fifth power. We have two expanded out five times and multiplied. So two times two is four times two is eight times two is 16 times two is 32. Then we can bring down our seven and three. Now again, there are different ways to go about multiplying these numbers. I'm just going to work from left to right. So I'll do three times seven next, which is 21. And then we have 21 times 32 for our last step. Now I'm not sure what 21 times 32 is, so I need to work this out off to the side. So 32 times 21. I put the larger number in value on top. Let's multiply. One times two is two. One times three is three. We are done with this one. And now we need that zero. Two times two is four. And then two times three is six. Now we add 32 plus 640. Two plus zero is two. Three plus four is seven, and then we have that six, so 672. And that's our least common multiple. So I'll put it an arrow there. So three times seven times two times two times two times two times two equals 672. So the LCM, the least common multiple of 21, 28, and 32, is 672. So there you have it. There's how to find the least common multiple of three numbers using prime factorization. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.